here, we have a mediastinal mass. And you can see here, there's a little bit of residual normal thymus tissue, where we see this nice lobulated architecture. And then we see a nice contrast between these darker staining areas and these lighter staining areas. So we have these dense areas of the cortex and the medullary areas that are lighter staining that have these Hassel's corpuscles here with this keratinization. So this is our normal uh, thymic parenchyma. And you notice there's not really any thick dissecting fibrous bands. However, when we go over here, we start to see these thick dissecting fibrous bands throughout the tissue. And so this is what you see in a thymoma. And this allows you to distinguish this nice normal architecture here without these thick fibrous bands. And then as we get over here, we start to see these thick intersecting fibrous bands going throughout the tissue. That is characteristic of a thymoma. And then in terms of thymomas, we subtype them in the WHO system into A and B thymomas. So this is a B thymoma as we have numerous of these lymphocytes and these interspersed epithelioid cells here. And this would be a B1 because we just see these single interspersed epithelioid cells and we're not really seeing clusters or sheets of the epithelioid cells as we would see in a B2 or a B3 thymoma. And also there's some preserved areas of more medullary differentiation that is seen typically in B1 thymomas. Um, a cytokeratin stain can be really helpful in these cases, as in thymomas it'll show a dense meshwork of staining, which you would not see in a thymic, normal thymic tissue. You just see a patchy, wispy staining um, in normal thymus. And then all these lymphocytes will be TDT positive as well, which can also help you.